Okay guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today we're gonna go in and make those clams that we showed you how to clean. And I get to spend some time out here with this in this beautiful, beautiful area, uh, doing a little gardening. And um, anyway, we decided that we would film how we're doing the clams. We're gonna try a keto style recipe today. Normally, um, I've had them only one other time. I've, razor clams are amazing and they're so tender. They are never chewy. If you clean them the way I showed you um, and the way my friend showed me how to do it in the previous video. So we are going to go in and cook them. So we're going to try keto style, uh, breading them in coconut flour and egg wash, and then using pork rinds um, crumbled up. So and then fry them off and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. So let me uh, take you inside and show you how we got this going. Okay, right. so the first thing that we did is lay these out, give them one more cleaning and inspection for anything that might not be what we want. And um, you go ahead and you're gonna grab these and you wanna make sure that this stays open so you get plenty of flour and breading, you know, your breading, you want that to stay open. So I'm going to put it first in the coconut flour that's over here. And this is pretty fine. If, if I run out of coconut flour, we're going to dredge it, um, some of these in regular and we'll just keep track. Um, not everybody's keto, <laughs> not just me, but hey, um, it's kind of catching on, right? So you get your, uh, Make sure that you get underneath that digger too. Not just, you know, you gotta have that both sides of the digger, and that's what that's that's what that is. And then you're gonna go in the egg, mm. dredge it in the egg, just like any other dredging that you would do. And then we're gonna go in to yum. And these have to sit. This is the key. If you want your breading to stick, and I'm gonna tell you. This um, this is a key to have your breading stick. And this is, um, I learned this from the clam digger himself. Mm -hmm. Yum, and it works. So these will have to go in the refrigerator for about an hour. Otherwise, all this good breading is gonna fall off of here. So you put it down on, I've got a cookie sheet here with some saran wrap and then we're gonna go ahead when if we have to do a second layer, but I don't think we will because we're only doing about half of the clams today um, for you on video, and then we'll do the rest later. I mean, they're hearty. Look at that. We're gonna have this in a salad. It's gonna be delicious, and some homemade tartar sauce. So I'll do one more for you, and so there you are, right? Mm. I am super excited that these or in my life right now. Woo! And Northwest Razor Clams. Never, ever did I dream I was gonna have these. You know, think about it. Oh, okay. Just like you would if you were using regular flour and down in the egg wash. Make sure you get nice coating of egg all around that digger. Because that, that's kind of the prime piece. And a lot of people will have it be tough because they didn't prepare them this way from beginning to end. Out of the eggs. And it takes about, for each razor clam, um, it takes about an egg for every two clams, is what he said. So we're gonna go ahead and really get the pork rinds coated on there. Push them down, okay? And then out of there, make sure we got everything. Look at, it's gonna be crispy and delicious. All right guys, I'm gonna finish the rest of these and we'll come back when we're frying them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got these all breaded and believe it or not, I got all of them breaded. Look, that's, a, I mean, these are big. That, uh, six of them with the um, pork skins. So coconut flour, egg, pork skin crushed up, that's it. This one is coconut flour, egg, coconut flour. So it's gonna be perfect because I really wanted to try it both ways because I've done chicken and I'm getting ready to do a chicken challenge for you. You wanna go ahead and season these at this point with dill, 
just a little bit of dried dill weed and it's crucial like i said earlier it's crucial to keep your breading on to have it in the refrigerator at least an hour it sets that breading okay a little pepper and this is so simple you don't want to mask the flavor and we are going to make tartar sauce so a little black pepper oh it's making my mouth water because I know how good these are. The last time I was only able to eat two, but I have saved my appetite. We are going to pick salad fixins out of the garden and put together a salad. And this is going to be dinner. Woof! Himalayan pink salt. All right. So it's on saran wrap and now we want to cover it with saran wrap so it doesn't dry out. And there you go. That's as simple as this is. This goes in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And we'll come back and we're going to fry them up. And it's going to be delectable. These are tender, never tough, ever, ever, ever. And the breading stays on. So mm, we'll be back. Woo so excited. Okay, guys, we are here and we're ready to put these on. I'm going to put on the just the coconut flour. And this hot, this oil is hot. It's olive oil. Um, you're gonna bring it up to its smoke temp. But look, none of the breading is falling off. And we're probably only gonna get about three in here. You want it nice and hot. It's according to my instructions. It's probably only gonna be one minute per side. Mmm, look at that. Yum. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. We have a really delicious i've already had it tartar sauce and if you want to see the recipe and you want to see it keto style leave me a comment in the comment section and i'm going to brown these off on both sides put it on a plate put it in the oven keep it warm and then i'll bring you back when we plate it up. okay guys we are ready for a taste test i'm so excited so the salad is out of the garden all the lettuces the spinach um the chive blossoms which it's kind of at the end of those but mm. tomatoes are not out of there and the onions those are sweet vidalia onions but it doesn't matter um apple cider vinegar and olive oil and i've got one this is the one that was breaded with the just coconut flour and then egg and then coconut flour and i fried that up and we're gonna do that with you gotta have the tartar sauce and if you want to see the recipe for the tartar sauce with a mm, delicious mm, version let me know mm. Mm, so tender mm, 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 mm. not not very crispy though these are crispy, I can already tell. Okay, you can hear it. And they were cooked the same amount of time. This is dredged in the coconut flour, egg, and then your um, pork skins, mm, pork grains. Mm, look at that. Oh. oh, winner, winner. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is by far the best. So, guys, if you want to make this, or if you've ever wondered how to do razor clams, this is it. Right here. And make sure you leave them breaded in the refrigerator for at least an hour. We're going to go have dinner, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe mm. using some northwest ingredients and um yeah as always guys i hope you subscribe i hope you uh hit the bell button if you're interested in more videos like this you'll get notified whenever i upload and um, don't forget check the links below because i might have a link pertaining to something i used in this video all right that's it